They've got three hearts and blue blood and brains shaped like donuts. Some of them have the largest eyes on earth and are giants who prowl the deep, rarely seen by humans. Here are a few of Ocean X's favorite squid encounters. The Big Fin Squid. The world's deepest dwelling squid is the Big Fin Squid. In 2021, Researchers filmed a juvenile big fin squid at the bottom of the Philippine Trench, at a depth of about 20,000 feet below the surface. The big fin squid is pretty elusive, so scientists aren't sure why it has such long arms and tentacles. They hypothesize that the big fin squid might use its long arms to trap prey animals when it bumps into them, or it might drag its arms along the seafloor to sweep up its prey. The largest known big fin squid is 21 feet long. That would be taller than the average adult giraffe. The giant squid. The giant squid is the world's longest squid. The largest giant squid ever recorded was nearly 43 feet long and may have weighed almost a ton. The giant squid is rarely seen. It was only in 2012 that it was first filmed alive in its natural habitat in Japanese waters. It typically lives deep underwater in the twilight zone at depths below a thousand feet. This makes it difficult to study, but sperm whales offer some helpful clues. They're the only animal that preys on the giant squid. Many sperm whales have scars on their skin that match the suckers on the giant squid's tentacles, and the squid's beaks are often found in sperm whales' stomachs. Based on the size of those beaks, scientists think that the giant squid could grow to 66 feet long. And the giant squid's eyes are the size of dinner plates, the biggest eyes in the animal kingdom. But scientists still have many questions about this squid, like how exactly do they reproduce and just how common are they? The strawberry squid. Just like a strawberry, the strawberry squid is covered in tiny spots. These spots are special cells called photophores, which the squid uses to produce its own light, called bioluminescence. The strawberry squid is also called the cockeyed squid because its eyes are different sizes and colors. It's born with two identical eyes, but as it grows up, the left eye gets way bigger than the right eye, sometimes double the size, and develops a yellow lens. The squid keeps that large left eye pointed up, scanning for the silhouettes of prey swimming above. The small blue right eye looks down and is optimized to spot bioluminescent flashes from potential prey in the waters below. In addition to their mismatched eyes, they've also got donut-shaped brains. All squids do. Their esophagus passes through the middle of their brain. This means they have to take very small bites of food. Strawberry squid live in the tropical and subtropical waters of the Atlantic to depths of 3,300 feet. The Humboldt squid. The Humboldt squid, also known as the jumbo squid, grows to six feet it can jet through the water at 15 miles an hour. To put that into perspective, the record for the fastest human swimmer is five miles per hour. Humboldt squid hunt in massive packs. When marine biologists from the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute observed footage of these hunts, the squid didn't bump into each other or fight each other for the same fish. The squid seemed to be coordinating, communicating by changing colors in specific patterns. Changing colors for camouflage and communication is well known in cephalopods. And that's all well and good when you live in shallow waters where there's light to see these patterns. But Humboldt squid live in the deep sea where there's no light at around a thousand feet below the surface. The researchers discovered the squid light themselves up from the inside so they're backlit like an e-reader and the patterns are readable in the dark. Their pigment producing cells called chromatophores are layered over their light-producing cells, 
or photophores. Early evidence from this 2020 study suggests the squid can string these pattern changes together in sequences, like Morse code. We filmed these Humboldt squid in Chile with the help of a glowing lure called an e-jelly. It was invented by marine biologist Dr. Edith Witter. The lure is called an e-jelly because it mimics the flashing display of some deep-sea jellyfish. When the jellyfish is attacked, it produces a pattern of flashing lights called a burglar alarm. This alarm display is meant to attract an even bigger predator to scare away its attacker. And squid are drawn by these displays. I wanted to be unobtrusive. I had been trying to figure out ways to do it with red light that would be invisible, hopefully, to these deep sea animals that see primarily only blue light and then that we would use this optical lure to bring the squid to us. Just amazing, amazing footage. Now look at this monster coming in. It's turning dark. That's not a change in the illumination pattern. You can see that it's turning dark. It's not shooting its tentacles out. It's just going straight to the arm attack mode. It's pulling on the, the arms of the the bait squid. And remember, all of this is happening without sunlight, without light. The only light is bioluminescence. The Big Fin Reef Squid. The Big Fin Reef Squid mainly lives around rocks and coral reefs. We found these squid on a reef in the Red Sea. Like other squid species, it can change colors for communication and camouflage. Unlike other squids, it can do this from the moment it hatches. This species doesn't live for very long. The longest recorded lifespan for a big fin reef squid is less than a year, just 315 days. The bobtail squid. The bobtail squid is also known adorably as the dumpling squid. While technically not a true squid, it is part of the cephalopod family and closely related to other squids, octopuses, cuttlefishes, and the chambered nautilus. This dumpling is a stealth master with some help from an interesting source. The squid hunts at night in shallow waters where it's backlit by the moon and the stars above. Its underside lights up to match the intensity of the moonlight. This hides the squid's outline so potential prey animals swimming below aren't scared away by its shadow. This is called counterillumination. But the squid itself isn't producing this light. The light comes from a glowing bacteria that the squid hosts within a special organ in its body. Bobtail squid are small growing to about an inch long or around the size of a standard golf ball. This one is definitely smaller than the size of your hand, maybe even your finger. 